Hey guys, Amber here with Prairie Angel Crafts. Today we are going to be doing a bleached cross t-shirt using the paintbrush technique. I am using a Heather Red Gildan Soft Style t-shirt that I picked up from Michaels. With the Heather t-shirts, they're not going to bleach out completely white like most people want. It's going to have more of like a grayish tint to it, but that is a desired look I am personally going for. So let's get started. Make sure your t-shirt is completely flat, straightened out. I am working with 100% bleach. So I have dipped my paintbrush that I got from Dollar Tree into the bleach. Make sure you get all the excess dripping off and then you just start kind of painting on the t-shirt however you want. There is no mistakes when doing this. Just go to town and have fun with it. Okay, so after I get my cross and the desired look I am going for, I am going to let this sit. It is best when you sit it out in the sun, when you're working with bleach out in the sun, because it kind of helps the bleach dry faster and it actually helps it, the color bleach out faster than if you were to do it in the house. Plus, it is well ventilated outdoors. Okay, so now that I have my cross and the desired look I'm going for, I am just going to let it sit outside and let the sun do its job. So about five minutes into this bleaching process, I decided I wanted to kind of re-wet the surface just a little bit. So I just used the paintbrush and the bleach and just went in the same area that I had already previously done. And then I'm going to let it sit for about another five minutes or so and then come back. Okay, so once it is completely done bleaching, I'm going to take hydrogen peroxide and just spray it on where I already applied the bleach. What it's going to do is kind of stop the bleaching process. Once I have it all nice and saturated, I'm going to take it inside and use my washing machine just on normal rinse cycle and not use any detergent, fabric softener, anything, just normal cold water and let it wash all the bleach and the peroxide out. And then after that, put it in a dryer and you are ready to go. And here is the finished look straight out of the dryer. I decided I wanted to put a screen print on mine. So what you're going to do is set your heat press to 350, put your t-shirt on, and you want to press it for about 15 to 20 seconds to get the excess moisture out. At this point, I lay my t-shirt on the ground. You can lay it on the table, whatever, just a flat surface to smooth it out. You'll put your screen print or your heat transfer vinyl, whatever you're using, on your t-shirt and get it in the position you want. In this case, since I'm using a screen print, I am going to use a heat protective tape that helps the screen print stay in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Once I have that on, I will put my t-shirt on my press and straighten it out just to make sure that your t-shirt is completely smooth while it is on the heat press. That way you don't get any bubbles or anything like that underneath the screen print. So I'm going to go ahead and just flatten the t-shirt out. For screen prints, I put my Teflon sheet over it and then I'll press it and I normally press it for about 7 to 10 seconds and then take everything off. Go ahead and carefully peel off the carrier sheet just to make sure that everything's stuck where it was supposed to. And then once you have that carrier sheet off, you'll put your Teflon sheet back on and then you'll press it for another 7 to 10 seconds. When you're all finished and you take it off, it's going to have a little bit darker red where the heat press is. That's okay. Once it is completely cooled, it will go away and it will fade back into the original color of the shirt. And then after that, I will go ahead and kind of inspect the t-shirt just to make sure that the screen print adhered to the shirt properly. In order to do that, you make sure that the little fiber, you can see the little fibers of the t-shirt through your design. And if you can see it through your design on everything, that means you're good to go. Okay guys, this is the final product. 
And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that like button so that way you can see future videos like this. Bye guys!